Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and Air Squirrels just released a new, uh, or their latest version of Air Pirate 2, with a lot of new features, which I'm extremely excited because I have used Air Pirate 1, version 1, a while back, and on this one, there's a lot of stuff uh, that they've released. Uh, they release media streaming, you're able to broadcast multiple destinations, multiple receivers, you can do. Uh, you can actually share audio only, which is awesome. Uh, you can actually share media. You can open up a particular file, uh, like a MP4 or a MP, MP, what is it, MPEG video file, and it will open it to their receiver. Now, one of the cool things I love about this is that, let's say you have an application, I have Notepad up and running. You can actually pick Notepad, and Notepad will actually uh, load up to the specific receiver. Now, Air Pirate 2 will only, su only supports uh, Apple TV 2, Apple TV 3, Chromecast, and Reflector. Uh, I have a, uh, a Mac laptop in my network that has Reflector. It's really simple. Uh, so at the bottom right here, you're able to get a list of uh, what Air Pirate uh, scan throughout your network, throughout your wireless uh, network. And it shows you what devices is uh, compatible to push out whatever content you want to push out to them. Uh, as you saw, I selected the my MacBook, and it was extremely easy because I have Reflector app already installed, and it pushes it out seamlessly with no problem. And you're able to use the application, and then once whatever typing that you do, they will receive it on their other end. Now. One of the cool things is by default it uh, it kind of shows you the display. By default it just shows you everything on the desktop. But if you want the receiver to focus on a particular uh, app or a video or audio, you can actually share that to them. You have the option and power to do that. Another cool thing with version 2 is that it gives you an option to pause it. Uh, rather than killing the connection and then reestablishing it again when you need it, you can actually just pause the connection, do what you need to do, come back. The connection is still there. All you got to do is just unpause it and you're back up and running with no problem. Which each device, uh, each device has their own device setting. The only device settings that this application will provide is device audio. You could control the audio uh, from the device that's viewing the media file that you publish or the audio file that you publish to them. And uh, but I'm super excited about this application. Air Pirate uh, was out for a couple. It's been out for a while. Uh, version one was okay, but I think version two is like wow, it's amazing. A lot of new things have been pushed out to version two, and a lot of improvements as well. You can actually uh, broadcast a 1080p video file to your devices with no problem. Uh, my concerns is if you don't have a high bandwidth connection at home or at your job, you will see some lag. Uh, that's the only downside that I see about this application that you have to have a strong connection a strong wireless connection for this to work seamlessly uh, again the pricing and all that information is at the bottom of the description uh, there's a link that's going to take you to my site and show you how to install it as well as the core requirements because this application doesn't doesn't only work with Windows PC it works with Chrome OS as well as Mac so all that information is at the bottom uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them at the bottom of the where the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it supports the video as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.